What is going on everybody? Tyler Brand back here with another video. Didn't expect to be talking to you guys twice today, but this is a bit of breaking news that at least I didn't expect and I felt like it was big enough to, if you haven't heard already, make a little bit of a video about it and just talk about it real quick. And that is of course news breaking just a couple minutes ago that the New England Patriots have officially cut and they are going to release Mohamed Sanu. Now, if you're a Patriot fan that's been living under a rock, let's just refresh you. He was acquired from the Atlanta Falcons last season and around the middle of the season to come in and help a wide receiving core that was very, very much underperforming. So he comes in and, quite frankly, he is injured. New England gives up a second round pick for him. He comes in again, he's injured, and he just, quite frankly, isn't very good. In eight games for New England, he has 26 catches for 207 yards and one score, again, in eight games. And in those eight games, he had four drops. So it was just flat out bad. There's no other way to put it. Part of the reason Sanu got a second round pick or was going for such a high rate was because he had two years left on his deal. He wasn't looked at as just a rental. So New England took the bait. They took a bite on him and it didn't work out. This year, Sanu is due, I believe, $6.5 million. The Patriots will save pretty much all of that, get it back on the cap now that he's not going to make the final 53. And it's just a weird move. I mean, I know in the video that I released earlier today, he was on my he was on my list because I thought he was a lock. I mean, I didn't think he was very good. He didn't really have a good camp at all. Something again that we've talked about on the channel. But I didn't think that they would go as far to release him, especially this early in the week. You know, maybe he would have been uh, one of the final cuts that New England made. But between the money that they owed Mohamed Sanu and you know his lack of ability to create separation and just get a little bit better. I mean, he had a whole offseason to learn and and work on the playbook. It looked like he was putting a lot of hard work in, but he just wasn't separating himself physically and just literally and, I mean, figuratively from everybody in training camp. I mean, he wasn't getting separation from receivers, and he wasn't really making any huge plays. So between the money owed, the, you know, not versatility, not being able to be a special teams player, it seems like... It wasn't just the just wasn't the right fit for Mom. It's a new. In terms of what this means for the final 53 and the wide receiver room going into the regular season, I still think Julian Edelman and Nikhil Harry are locks. They're definitely making the team. I think after this, I would say Gunner's pretty much a lock. Again, I, we could be wrong. I swung and missed on Sanu in a video just a couple hours ago, but. I think Gunner is a lock. I think the Mirror Bird is probably pretty safe. And now that last spot is wide, wide open. I mean, take your pick. Devin Ross has had a few good games. Jeff Thomas, we all know how electric he was in college. And he showed some of that electricity in camp, although he was hurt for part of it. So at this point, that last roster spot is wide, wide open for the wide receivers. I'm not sure how much of a market Sanu has after this. I know there's some wide receiver needy team, so I'm sure he'll find another home. But... It seems like at this point, you know, what you get from Sanu is what you're going to get from him. It's something that I was reminded by, you know, just talking to football fans around me. You know, I had high expectations that Sanu would take some big steps here. But at some point, you know, in your career, you just are what you are. And Sanu didn't work here. And it's just that plain and simple. So best of luck to Muhammad Sanu. It's unfortunate that it didn't work out here. But that is the cold business of the NFL. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But that is going to do it for this video. Just a quick breaking news video. Nothing else has changed. Tomorrow you're going to get the defensive side of the 53-man roster prediction and the special team side, of course. Hopefully there's no more big cuts that I just swing and completely whiff on. But you never know. Again, today is just a perfect example of that. So again, I'll be back tomorrow with another video. Had to hit you with a quick one again just to talk about this real quick. Get at me in the comments below. What do you think of Sanu's time on New England? Follow me on socials, at the Tyler Brand on Twitter, at Talking Pats on Instagram. And again, be safe, be good. I'll see you tomorrow for the final roster update.